So what? They're blocking the fucking way! It is growing. Protesters camped outside ICE headquarters in southwest Portland are now starting to get harassed by those who want them gone. I'm Jeff Giannola and at I'm, 5 o'clock. And I'm Jennifer Hoff. This is now day five of the tent city, and it is growing outside the Immigration and Customs Enforcement Office, which is right off southwest McAdam. There are hundreds of people out there, and they have now forced the temporary location there to shut down. Let's go to our Lisa Balick, who's been live out there for the last couple of days. What's the latest now, Lisa? Well, as you mentioned, that tent city is growing. It's just below that tan building over there. That's the ICE facility that, as you mentioned, is shut down. While they're getting a lot of support, they're also starting to hear from those who want them gone. From News Chopper 6, you can see the tent city behind the Immigration and Customs Enforcement Building spreading out alongside the city bike path. All day, we've seen a steady flow of supporters dropping off food, water, camping gear, building materials. We've had people offer to come pick up some of the people here in camp and take them to their homes to shower them. We've also had people donate portable showers so that people here that don't want to leave can take showers as well. But as the crowd grows, so do some troubles. Some nearby businesses and residential property owners tell me they're hiring private security. One business had some outdoor items taken last night. They were found in the camp and returned. We talked with some protesters and supporters who parked in a nearby restaurant lot without permission. Some in the South Waterfront neighborhood want the city to step in. We have visitors and we went out to, to dinner and we left the cars and at work and to come back, we were not feeling comfortable. We ended up calling Uber uh, just to walk back to where we were. The other day, we were I'm just trying to come home and these people are jumping out in front of our car telling us to stop. and. You know, they're blocking like most of the streets. And protesters tell us they're starting to get harassed. Someone came by and sprayed the top and the bottom with poop. Out of the car as they were driving by? Mm -hmm. That's just mean. Portland police continue to keep their distance from the campers on city property. The mayor saying it's for the federal government to handle. It's their issue and their building. A 21-year-old woman running her family's food truck shot this video. It shows what appear to be Occupy ICE protesters in southwest Portland yelling at her through a bullhorn. They were mad, she says, because she and a customer had laughed and they claimed that was proof that she didn't support their cause of abolishing immigration and customs enforcement. And the family says it got worse after that. Threats, intimidation, telling customers to stay away. That's their story. In fact, it's now so bad, this truck right here, whose profits go to help the homeless, is closing up shop for good. They think I'm laughing at them. They already know what she drives. So now they're targeting us now. They see her walking around and they, they run after her. They think we're laughing at them. She finally had enough. She was finally like called me up on the phone Crying. Scott and Julie Hakes are business people. They're giving people, but first and foremost, their parents. Her safety is our number one concern. And after watching video after video of what appear to be Occupy ICE protesters stationed across the street, yelling at their 21 year old daughter, mocking her, and they say threatening her, they've had enough. So they're closing the Happy Camper Food and Coffee Bar for good, a truck they've used to raise money for the homeless. No matter how much we want to help people, our family comes first. You're taking part, you're putting blood on your hands right now. The Hakes say it started days into Occupy ICE's now five week run when a protester heard in this video spotted their daughter Brianna laughing with a customer. 
the antagonizer screams out, gets on the blow horn and starts screaming that my daughter is laughing at them, trying to make a mockery of them. When Brianna sold an ICE officer food, Scott Hicks says backlash escalated. If they catch her outside the cart, they're going to hurt her. Uh, they're constantly cussing at her and screaming at her. We had 20 individuals, 10 to 20 individuals rush the cart with customers to intimidate them to where they didn't want to come back. The Hicks's claims mark another chapter in this protest's eventful run. Occupy ICE shut down the Immigration and Customs Enforcement Building in Southwest Portland for days. The movement, a response to the president's now reversed policy of separating families at the border. Victory at this camp means that the last prisoner has been brought into this facility, um, that the last prisoner the last family has been torn apart in our name from this facility. That's what victory means for this camp. There have been arrests, hunger strikes, and physical confrontations with journalists, including in this video, me. Mayor Ted Wheeler has said he supports the cause and he's directed Portland police to steer clear of controlling the protest. I'm not sure it's the best strategy for the Portland police to engage as the enforcers of access to a federal facility. That's what the federal police are for. The Hakes family just wanted to stay out of the protest and sell food. The businesses that are around here that pay a lot of money to rent these spots here, they're all being affected. There's true protesters over there that are passionate and they truly believe in what they're doing. They're not the ones that are beating on people and threatening people. I've never seen anything like this as long as I've lived here and it's horrible because not only are they breaking the law, but they're destroying our neighborhood. Several neighbors say they've had enough of protesters and want them to go. Some neighbors feel so unsafe. They ask we not show their face or use their names. It's very noisy. Uh, people are acting very threatening towards residents. There are actually people coming from the camp and they're urinating on the building. It's just terrible. They're 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 not making a statement anymore. Uh, I think it's time for them to move on. I'd like to clean them out myself. Many believe the way protesters are acting isn't accomplishing anything, and instead detracts from the reason protests began in the first place. Is this accomplishing anything down here? Absolutely nothing. In my opinion, no, because of their tactics. I don't think that you know. Anybody rational wants to listen to somebody that's yelling and screaming and threatening violence. Protesters, though, deny harassing anyone. When I went to the mayor and said, look, this isn't sustainable, not just resource wise, it's just out of control mm -hmm. for many reasons. He was extremely supportive and said, okay, you know, I wasn't asking for permission to go out and clear this camp. I said, this is what's going to happen and here's how it's going to happen. Aren't you? The First Amendment, get the fuck down the road. Please just keep going the direction. Just please turn right please for Christ's sake. Please go the direction I asked for you Jesus to Christ's sake, let's turn right. Please, you're well, blocking yeah. traffic and they're getting pissed oh, at you. Oh, we're blocking traffic. You can turn. You can you just turn. You, you just go. Hey. Just go. Are we the one just traffic? turn, please. Please just keep going. Now you're going to have to wait because you've got cars coming. Oh, Bro, what are we oh you're get out South the Carolina. You are a little white supremacist. North Carolina, I'm a white supremacist because I'm white. Are you kidding me? 
Go back to North Carolina where you came from. We don't need your KKK in Portland, Oregon. KKK from North Carolina. Can someone shut the fuck up so I can speak? I got traffic. I got traffic. Ask me if I give a fuck. I was talking to him, not you. Thank you very much. But I'm in the middle. I'm in the middle. I'm in the middle of the theater section. And, uh, if I can have someone come, Where is it? Right well, I can yeah. Well, they're blocking traffic. Uh, Patrick, give it! Patrick, give it! Patrick, give it! Fucking dumbass! I got you to hit me right now. I'll beat the shit out of you. I'll beat the shit out of you with him. Fuck him. Whoa, Watch whoa, 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 Slow down. Slow down. Come on, slow down. There's no reason to... You're lucky you didn't hit me. I ought to beat your ass. I guarantee you that. Look, you don't pay my bills. Shut the fuck up. Don't engage. Don't engage. Don't engage. Don't engage. Don't engage. I love you.